Uh, Sergio Sardin. Um, what's on the Cavity Buffalo? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I came here to find out a little bit more um, about the issue at hand, which is, is subsidies to the Greystone Hotel yes. to be converted into residential apartments. Upscale residential. Upscale residential apartments, presumably lofts. That's probably how they'll be marketed. Um, mm -hmm. Again, I. If Greystone is converted to, to upscale lo lofts, I won't be personally inconsolable, um, but I, I will be if, if taxpayer money is, is given to Ellicott to, to fund such a thing. And, you know, on, on principle being that there are, there is such a need for, for low income affordable housing in the city, which might be feasible. You know, those are the, you know, creating low income housing out of a building, even a building like Greystone was not just you know the right thing to do on a, on a moral scale. It, it makes sense. There is there's demand for that. Um, subsidizing high income or, or you know what luxury housing yeah, upscale is luxury upscale apartments. apartments is you know even in New York City there isn't there isn't demand for something like that. I mean there there's condos in, in New York that are sitting vacant. And I and I don't deny that there, there is a certain demand for for people of middle or even upper levels of income to move into downtown Buffalo and to make the great, to make the diverse, but you know there there is such a really high need for people uh, alone in, in, in the city, e even three blocks away from Greystone, mm -hmm. um, that can move in there. I think one of one of our uh, our friends here actually used to live in the Greystone back in the day, and, and, and you know she would probably love to move back and and, and be productive um, living there. So it's just not not a proper use of my my taxpayer money to subsidize. Loss, it's bad bad practice in general. Um, we don't want to start a, a domino effect where, you know, if we give money to Ellicott for <coughs> developing lots at the Greystone, then they'll want to do it a few blocks away, and it's going to spread on and on to the Lower West Side and to, you know, the, the Fruit Belt and to other parts of the city. And, you know, they'll be asking for, for IDA subsidies as well, as well. So that's where, even without looking at, at the, the figures directly, that chain of events would be disastrous for the economy and, and would sink us into the red, I believe. My name is Lisa Richardson. I live in the city of Buffalo. I'm a mother of three. I lived in Niagara Square, and I can tell you the city's pretty dead down there on the weekend, so <laughs> tell you if you want to build some things for these uh, rich people to do on the weekend because it seems to only cater to the people that work downtown during the weekdays. I know uh, you can't even get a cup of coffee on a Sunday, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I just want to go on record saying I think it's a big waste of money, and he's well off, he can do this on his own, and I, I do not support uh, you guys giving money to somebody who is not going to bring jobs into Buffalo. Thank you. Uh, Brian Wood, <coughs> and I think I would just like to, to totally echo what everybody here from Occupy Buffalo is saying, I'm from Occupy Buffalo as well. Um, if the numbers are all there for the ECIDA to work with, it'd be, it'd be great to see the Industrial Development Agency actually do things uh, related to industry, maybe even clean up the environment that these, some of these industries uh, destroy. But to give, to give millions of dollars or to give this tax break to somebody who can already afford it is irresponsible. There should be measures in place in the ECIDA so you guys don't keep on doing this, like keep on giving millionaires millions of dollars. It just doesn't make sense. It's pretty elementary to me. And also I'd like to echo too what Josie was saying too. I didn't really think of this too, but if as far as the real estate end of this going, if we're, if we're gonna buy, if we're gonna build and invest into a luxury apartments in downtown Buffalo in an effort to raise real estate prices, and I just wanna, remind you of the 2008 economic like recession <laughs> primarily due to like real estate prices and now is like financial some financial experts are saying now that that was just a hiccup in the uh, recession so the bubble is still growing and it's like 
like I said, all the numbers are there. If, if Buffalo is the third poorest city in this country, I mean, if we're going to invest in this, the pipe dream, are we trying to make Buffalo the, the first poorest country? The <laughs> first poorest city in the country? That goals. Huh? <laughs> we're on we're the way. You're doing a damn good job. I would like to say somewhere to go for that. My name is Dana Drace. Um, I live in the city of Buffalo, um, in South Buffalo. Uh, I just want to um, reconfirm what everybody said. Everyone ha here has great ideas, and um, if the board is having trouble um, showing up to meetings, um, obviously we have a room full of people that are looking for jobs. Um, that have to build seats here that have great ideas that can help you implement. Um, better ways to structure the city um, and to save, save probably you guys money and save the city some money too and, and probably get the city back on their feet um, to a better uh, working order and, and probably create jobs. And, and I would like to see the city move more towards a green, a green city, um, the clean city into a green city. Um, we could probably um, have some money that, that we could do that um, with the rail systems and the busing systems. We could probably, probably I would like to see probably some money invested into that. Um, upscale apartments, um, I don't know who's gonna occupy the upscale apartments like everyone's talking about. Clearly, um, we have some, we're the, uh, we're the third poorest city. I don't know who's gonna fill those upscale apartments. Um, we have beautiful waterfront property that could be used um, in, out in Hamburg, Angola area. Um, there's beautiful, beautiful property that's just sitting there that could be used for camping. Families, I'm sure, would love to go out there and, you know, go to the beach or we could probably use more transportation out that way so they could probably get there to, to utilize the waterfront property out there and go camping maybe. I don't know, to get out, of, you know, so they're out of trouble and maybe use, you know, more resources so they can occupy nature. I don't know, just a thought. If you want more ideas, I'm sure this whole room could give you plenty of ideas that would save you the city money and we can get this up and running for you. And if the board isn't willing to show up, like I said, we are. So if you need help, please. <laughs> <laughs>